Welcome back. Ace Hardware acquiring a majority stake in e-commerce site, The Gromit. The Gromit works with independent entrepreneurs and emerging companies to bring their exciting and interesting new products into the marketplace, working with companies such as Fitbit, Otterbox, SodaStream. Joining us now is the president and CEO of Ace Hardware, John Van Heisen, and the co-founder and CEO of Gromit, Jules Pieri. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. Fabulous. Congratulations. You've got this partnership making sense for both companies, I guess. Why did you make this investment, John? Well, we think it's got legs for a number of reasons, but two biggies. Uh, for Ace, we have had for years this sort of fanatical devotion to locally relevant, high-quality, differentiated stuff, stuff you can't get everywhere else. And this acquisition gives us earlier insight, earlier access even to early stage startup companies. So that just fuels the fire we've been, you know, kind of pushing anyways. And, and you've said, Jules, that, that the little guy is your focus. Absolutely. We've been just fighting for them from the beginning to level the playing field because we really want to make sure the best products and the best companies win. And that hasn't necessarily been the case in retail recently. And, and working with companies like Fitbit or Simply Safe, uh, tell us what that means for you. Well, it, it's a wonderful thing for us because we get further differentiation, reasons to shop Ace versus the other guy. But it's a wonderful thing for the maker in our view as well. So um, you think about the launch platform that the Gromit has, and Jules has started over there, coupled with our network of stores. We've got 5,058 stores. And our supply chain to bring it to the world, these makers and innovators and inventors now have a clear, meaningful path to growth without always having to bow down to the altar of Amazon. So in terms of the pricing, I mean, these products will now end up on your store shelves? Yeah, many of them will, Because yeah. oftentimes people are looking for things like Fitbit or Simply Safe. They see the ads on TV. Um, but you'll have them in stock. Yeah, well, so now we have a launch platform to be able to see what sort of interest there is. In the moment there is, we have an expansive network to get it both online and in-store. Seamlessly integrated all gives the customer more higher quality differentiated stuff than just cookie cutter things you might find on discount sites, for here's, example. Here's the really strange thing. The more innovative a product is, the less likely it is to succeed. You're not actually going to find it on Amazon because you're not looking for it. You don't know it exists. But you put these stores in an environment like the Gromit, these companies rather, in an environment like the Gromit, and, and we can translate and validate these and, and explain these products to, to a stranger, to somebody who's never heard of them. Then you extend it into Ace Hardware, locally owned, owners in the store, actually explaining the product, caring about the product. Innovation has a chance. So it's been reported that approximately 3% of the submissions you receive for the Gromit make it actually through the process for yeah, approval. Yeah. What are the requirements? Give us the standard. So two easy things. Is it a distinctive product? Does it really deserve to exist? Does it do something new in a refreshing way? And is it relatively undiscovered? Because that's our promise, to be discovering what's next. So those are easy. The harder part is, is it true? Does it really do what it says it does? And is the company representing values that our community cares about? It might be made in the USA. It might be a social enterprise. It might be something that has a made-for-a-lifetime guarantee. Yeah. J John, Ace Hardware. You're not at a hardware store anymore. Yeah. How's the retail environment today? Well, if you read the business news, it's all dead, right? It's the retail apocalypse. <laughs> right. We're all going to die. The Amazon's killing everybody. They're killing everybody. And to some extent, it's true. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's like 6,700 stores are closing this year. But we've been fortunate in the face of that. We have had uh, record sales, record profits. And Fantastic. Ongoing growth. We'll leave it there. Congrats. Great to see you both.